Hey y'all, we're in the Thunderbird, headed down the river. All be a good time, eh? There's a car here. Okay, well, we're gonna go cruise through town, go drop this baby in and see what she does. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see more. Look what we have here, guys. We got the majestic Thunderbud, and we're about to go out on the mighty Snake River. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. First, we're gonna leave this one strapped for now. Then, we're going to undo this here strap so we can try to unhook the boat. You gotta be very sneaky around the boat, because if you don't, it might bite you. Watch your fingers. A boat can bite. Okay, we're gonna undo the boat. Ah. Maybe we'll even see some endangered species. Okay, it's kind of a mess, guys. We got to get it cleaned up. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop this motor because I'm pretty sure it's it's plenty deep because uh, my car's so low. It's it's up there off the ground. Okay, so we should be good. Now we're going to launch the boat. We're going to pull her in there and let her run for a minute on the trailer. Let it warm up and see how the engine runs. <clears throat> you see, she's been tried out and run into captivity to see how she swims. But we've yet to try this boat in a while. This motor. We took the boat out last year, but with a different motor. So when you change the power plant, you got to test it again. Because sometimes, in captivity, the motor will run. But when you get out in the water, the motor does not want to run. <laughs> okay, looks like we got this. We're going to, we're going to depress the emergency brake just in case I don't think it's working properly we'll just leave that alone we got her in reverse we slide the steering out to the way we might as well shut her off she's a good running chap so we'll get her going let's zoom out here Okay, now we've got to be careful getting in the boat or we'll get our, our dungarees wet and don't want to get our boots soaked because we got to work tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so we're going to set up the driver's seat here. Whoa, don't drop the camera in the river. That's not good when you drop a thousand dollar phone in the river. It's probably happened to more, more people than one. We're gonna hook up our fuel connection here. Make sure you got it proper. I've seen people not get it to run and they actually flip this and it's still locked on. But instead of fuel, they was just getting a shaft. Okay, then we're gonna pump her up. Get a get a blood pressure up. You gotta feed the engine if you want it to run. Okay, so everything's looking nice. Now, we're gonna choke it. Just like any girl, when you wanna get her to go, just choke her. Whoa, look at that. If I'd have had it on stock, with a throttle up a bit, probably would have started on the first pull. Well, it's just cause I need to turn the choke off. Okay. Oh, very nice. Oh, she's a pissing. That's good on a boat. You want your boat to be a pissing. That means she's cooling properly. Because that's how they cool. They pump the water up out to the river and they pass it through their system and then they piss it out. 
very nice. She's running very smooth. Sounds like a very surly girl. Uh oh. That's what I was worried about. They done this in the tank too. Sometimes you got choke again and then turn the choke off. Okay, that's what I say. We want to get her warmed up. Make sure she's running right before we take it out because this here Snake River is very dangerous. It's deadly. Many people have lost their lives in here. Okay, I think we I think we may have got her warmed up enough. Let's see what we can do here. We're gonna unhook her from the car. Okay, so what we got to do now, kind of did this stupid way. Gotta pull it forward a little here. Here, we'll set the camera down. Hold on one second. Okay, we got the, the rope on, the strap untied there. Now, I gotta get a new pin for the motor because they put some nail through there and it doesn't grab when it's in reverse. So, okay. So now we're gonna put her down to shift range. We're gonna put it in reverse and give her a little throttle. See if we can't keep her down. So we get her off the trailer. Okay, well, looks like we're still too far on the trailer. We're gonna shimmy her off a little. Oh man, we're off. Whoa. No, that's not good. There's rocks there. <laughs> really shallow rocks. Not good for my propeller. Okay lost my accent when we, we had a difficulty. Okay, we're gonna go over here and beat you. I see this motor, it hangs down lower than my old one. So, yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Okay, so we're gonna have to push it out a little ways before we launch her, okay? So now, go up here and beach the boat. And then we're gonna walk around, go park the car. Fun stuff, right? A lot of, a lot of things you gotta do when you're Run the boat. Okay. We slide her over. Hit the magic under the dash switch for my Pertronics ignition. We're gonna go. Yeehaw! Glad I took you guys for a ride with me. Gotta have somebody to have your back. Sometimes you gotta have somebody to have your front. Both are nice. Now this time, we're gonna take the keys with us. We don't need any of these young hooligans around here going on a pleasure cruise. Okay, now I don't have a lot of battery, so I stopped recording there for a bit. But we're cruising. Pretty nice little motor. Pretty quiet, runs smooth. Little island deal out here. The river's pretty low right now. So I gotta watch where I go and I didn't bring my fish finder out of my truck so I can check the depth and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna have to play her by ear. I do need to bring my motor up a little bit on the little uh, trim tab deal. It's got a little, little, pin that goes through there to raise it up 
the level it's sitting at it's not getting real good thrust you need to bring it up a few holes but they don't have the pin in there they have a nail pounded through there that's too big so i'm gonna have to fix that we're gonna go because i know there's some rocks off that point there we're gonna avoid that they don't have their dock out yet there a little private dock Pretty cool. Oh yeah, we got some waves now. We laid out our own little wake. Good little motor. Still, still pumping water. Nice, good. Just a nice steady stream. Reminds me of myself. Yeah, we're just gonna cruise around a little. And check out the river you know can't go too far down either so down below there's a big gravel bar so this is just a little spot I want to take you to try it out this is the little kids rodeo grounds like somebody got a couple little dogs running around up there This is a nice calm little fishing hole here. You get right on the edge of the wake where it comes out. With my little tiny motor with a little short, short shaft, I can go in way less water, so it'd be good. If I go somewhere too shallow, I'll put that on, but I mostly want to go out on the lakes and stuff. I just bought this prop, so I don't want to get it in the shallow and mess it up. Yeah, you can see this motor's tilted pretty low, so... Uh-oh, we're bogging down. That tells me we probably ought to go uh, back to the car before we have any issues. I have to check something out here. Well. Huh. Might have to adjust the carburetor, clean it out good, something. Okay, she bogged way down not getting near the power we should I'd put it back in the barrel and check her out we'll go pull up to the dock real quick before we get in trouble here so thanks for going for a ride with me we're going to turn her off here and y'all take care okay so it turns out my choke was working its way closed I just open the choke all the way I might have to tighten it a little so it doesn't close so easy or put a spring on it where I can hold it and pull the rope for a second and then when I let off it just automatically releases so we'll get something worked out there so we don't have any issues just want to let you guys know what was going on please like comment subscribe we'll catch you on the next